Scott Scharf, uh, one of the co-founders of Catching Clouds. I founded Catching Clouds with my wife. She was the CEO, chief controller, CPA, power user. Um, I'm a 40-year IT geek and uh, have run service practices and consulting practices and everything else. Um, and so uh, our skill sets really blend really nicely. It's been, it's been really fun working with my wife, she's impressive as hell. So we started the business and for the last 10 years, we're the leaders in e-commerce accounting. We've been doing e-commerce accounting at least twice as long as any of our peers. And most of those peers we coached, they took our accounting for Amazon, accounting for Shopify training courses, and then we hang out at accounting conferences and e-commerce conferences. But we're just really passionate about it. We're really realize when we first for the first year we're like okay well, where what are, niche are we going to focus on but very quickly and our first client was an e-commerce seller um and what we what we've done is we realized that look that's what we're going to do and we're going to go and focus because there's riches in the niches once you do that it defines your tech stack it defines your marketing message it defines everything is consistent and you know we always built it as a business and we were we we it was it's been doing pretty well. It's been fun. It's been a stupid amount of work, uh, but but it, and any business is, you know, we're just continuing to do it. We're all about process and repeatability, and we have our offshore team and then our our U.S. team uh, to balance all the work out. Which what all e-commerce has client accounting services practices are having to do. Otherwise, you just can't be competitive. We always built the business as a business. We were outside of the work, you know, we were involved and we oversee and we supported our team, but they were the one doing the bulk of the work. When we lost uh, these people, a bunch to being poached and, and everything else, uh, we don't have enough staff to do this. We've already pushed even more and more work over to offshore, which is what allowed us with our process, using Process Street and everything else, which, and, and then the people that were still left were awesome. They're just rock stars. They were they were just great. And that's what allowed us to saw, survive to the point of the sale without killing ourselves. So the part of the story is Patty and I went, went on our uh, road trip to our favorite B&Bs for our 25th anniversary, okay? Super excited about being happily married. We were just totally stressed out with all this stuff. And then on our way out of town, like the 10th per person gave notice. And we were just, just emotionally, Patty was like, I'm done, burn it to the ground. I'm just like, I'm like, and I'm like, we're just dealing with the emotions. And then I was like, wait, wait, just give me a little bit of time. There, you know, we spent 10 years, there's a ton of value here. There's, you know, what we can do. And then we switched the conversation. To, oh, well, if we do sell, what? What does that look like? What do we care about? What do we what do we want? We just didn't know what um, all the things we didn't know how to negotiate the contracts. We didn't know how to negotiate the pricing. Who else might be interested in buying our business? Like, you know, what are what are our different options? And we just we're firm believers in outsourcing and getting coaches. Um, and then Aaron was amazing. I mean, it really, it, it was, oh, cool. Here's a trusted advisor who's totally on our side. Okay. Has an accounting background and understands the accounting space. So that kind of sped things up. And then the deal with Acuity was almost like perfect. So it was, they, they came to us with the deal and an offer. It was both really, I mean, the part that I really liked about it was it was really respectful of us, understanding that we want to continue on, okay, that we'd be executives uh, and owners in the new company, because we're continuing to be that mode and we'd have our own responsibilities. So we'd still continue to be entrepreneurs. And just the thing is, the weight of the world won't be on two shoulders in this household, because anything that happened impacted all of our income. Uh, they offer and they, they offered you know, Patty to be the chief process officer. They listened to what we did. And so Patty didn't have to do accounting. She just built process and automation and all the stuff she just loves. She's having a blast. Um, and then offered me the CTO and e-commerce practice lead, which is I'm an IT geek and they've never had an official IT guy at my level or any. And as soon as we signed the deal on August 4th, we got our weekends back. So we immediately got our weekends back. We took a vacation where where we just didn't bring our computers. Like, like we didn't have to work. 
you know, we kept tabs on our phones for a few things, but nothing blew up. And so it's just been an interesting journey. We didn't think we were going to sell and it all happened fairly quickly. We had such a great experience.